We're now joined by attorney Sandra Hardy McKenzie here to talk to us about an important anniversary. Welcome, Sandra. Thank you, Carolina. This is an important anniversary. It is the 70th year of Hernandez versus the state of Texas. And in that landmark decision, it was determined that Mexican Americans and individuals of Spanish descent were being excluded from the jury process in Jackson County and throughout Texas. And these incredible attorneys volunteered their time and showed that the jury array in 25 years had never selected an individual uh, of Mexican-American descent or Spanish surname in Jackson County for 25 years. Wow, that's incredible considering the history the Hispanic population has in this region. Correct. And in fact, one of the attorneys who brought this to the forefront, his family was Mexican-American, had signed the Texas Declaration of Independence. Oh, wow. And he said he'd been here since before Sam Houston arrived. And yet, when he went to the Jackson County Courthouse, he couldn't use the regular bathroom. He had to use the bathroom that was meant for a colored man. Uh, it said on the door, hombre saqui. Hombre saqui. And this is a landmark case that took place before it mm. was you know, before that law that basically made speaking Spanish illegal in public spaces, I, th I think that law existed until 1971. So we have this, this history of discrimination in our state, and this case was a big step toward eliminating that. Right. The, they found that no, the 14th Amendment says no state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges of Im or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the law. That's right. <clears throat> we have the right to be, to be judged by a jury of our peers. So in order well, to achieve that, we well, need to have equality and, and the right to serve on a jury without facing discrimination based on ancestry or, or race. Right, Very and important. what they found was that there was an, a rule of an exclusion. While the law on its face was not discriminatory, the application of the law was such that even though there was 14% of the population Hispanic or Mexican American <clears throat> in 25 years, not one of them had been selected for the jury array. Wow. Well, it just reminds us to be thankful for the privilege of serving on a jury. And if you are called, please do serve because you could be giving, you could be a part of what's making that jury more, more just, more equitable, and giving that person that's on trial their, their full rights. Well, Mexican Americans provide a valuable service when they serve on jurors, as all of our Victoria jurymen do, because Frequently, I face a in my person in my personal injury practice. I face insurance companies that don't want to pay. Yet, if they know they're coming to Victoria, Texas, and they're going to face a fair judge and a representative jury of our population, they're going to have a stiff hill to climb if they don't tell the truth because our people will see it. That's right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Sandra, mm -hmm. for celebrating this huge achievement with us. Thank you, Sandra. You're welcome. All right, well, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this break.